color that. Is the inverter using to um get light? Yeah, so who is responsible for your electricity? Which politician? I don't even know. I don't get involved with that. Oh, okay. I have, I have, I have the inverter, so it's not, it not that bad. Alright. Mm -hmm. And push come to shove, I just put it on a solar. I put it on a solar solar arm thing, and then I just have my own electricity because I don't know why they're taking so yeah. long. Yeah, man, next week for sure. Hopefully, I get the parts them but that time, same time. Too. Yeah, man. All right, bye. -bye. bye. Hey guys, it's your girl Farm Girl just cutting grass again today. Looking at some beautiful lush green grosses for the goats. So yeah, this is how it be on a day in the life of Farm Girl Jess. I just come in from Portland. Um, I don't check color Smith. But I didn't get to record any of it, so yeah guys, smash up the like button and subscribe. Cuffing grass, getting up the van ready. Thank God we get the power steering pump and the um what the oil air filter and the uh, I can't remember guys, but I'll get some parts for the van to get it moving to make the, the steering move smoother because it was too difficult for me to drive. And the next step now is try to raise over 2,000 US dollars to try and move that automatic version because the one that I have now is standard and we need some parts of it too. So we're going to use that to actually be able to drive it so then I can come on the road and cut the grass and load up. You can do like three days worth of trip. In, in one trip instead of using this small car here to carry everything yes having a bad breakout um especially right here need to go and get some laser treatments for this it's really horrible you guys i know anyways donate to paper so we can afford to fix the face also and raise some money to buy that part for my car Yes, I need an automatic transmission. I need to switch out everything to automatic. Yeah, guys. And yes, guys, I had to go and get my hair done because the other one was not acting right. But this one is nice also. Beyonce business, you know? Ow. If I don't do this, guys, my goats will die from hunger. They will starve. I have to feed them grass. This is how the goats survive. And also, I make sure of this grass and I make sure of greens also until they're ready to be sold. They're not ready to be sold yet. I need another year to actually get to the levels that I'm looking. I need at least 100 goats to sell. In the meantime, I try to buy some as well, but you know, it, it don't make no sense to buy goats when the goat house is not right yet. So that's the problem. And guys, I hear the government saying they need more farmers, they need more farmers, but I'm not really seeing any funding for the farmers to get funding other than well, mostly I ask for donations to feed the goats and to feed the dogs and stuff. But I'm not seeing any help from the Jamaican government at all. 
especially in this hurricane guys i don't like to be like these controversial type of topics but i'm just saying this is the reason why i ask for donations because i can't get a loan it's a high risk business because they're always stealing the goats hurricane can come and wipe away everything thank god i had no losses in the hurricane but i had a serious damage on a goat house when the goat house got damaged I had to remove all my goats inside my house and that's the way all the thing go you know like that's what I had to do I just have to do what I have to do so guys I apologize if it offend you that I ask for donations but I need money and I just have to do what I have to do because I'm raising goats and they need a lot a lot to feed the dogs a lot to feed the goats so that's just the thing that's just how the thing set. So basically, we're packing up everything here on the side. Packing all of the grass. I have one load here, two load there, and then three load over there. You understand? I also lost my machete. So I would be cutting the grass myself also. I cut grass myself also. But it's kind of hard to cut grass. And put them in this car this is the problem and guys when i got the van the one time i bring it to saint mary i had to test it out with the top steering that couldn't drive and that's very dangerous by the way i had to fill it up with grass so you guys can see why i got the van because a lot of people's like why did you get such an old truck i got it from my farm i got it from my animals and I don't know why you guys don't believe or don't understand like we're raising goods for living here you know but it it's not <laughs> it's not profitable yet it's like a non-profitable organization so it's working off basically charity right now i don't think i will be profitable for another three years because i have a lot of overheads to build infrastructure and to purchase the land so these two things are what's over my head right now. <laughs> over my head. Over heads. You understand? Yeah, guys. It's a good look. So we're packing in the grass now. Basically. And this type of fat type of grass make the goats put on so much weight, you guys. And it keep them coat shiny and healthy. It's no joke. You know what I'm saying? I normally bring my tripod out, but I left it on the farm. And then we don't have any water also. So it's a full water. So this water, this little bit of water is gonna feed the goats, the dogs, and everything. And I'm running low on cash also to buy gas to put in the vehicle and then i have to go to the river and take a shower there also because you know we don't have no water so this is how i have to bathe this is how we do it yeah guys and i don't want to sound like i'm complaining too much and like i sound miserable and thing but guys it's stressful i have to use an inverter to have electricity on the farm now i need to really consider converting everything to complete solar system so i can have an independent electrical issue electrical situation because we have no electricity for like one month now yeah so no electricity no water one month now it's like it's too much it's too much it's stressing and this is why the content kind of get lame because the content can't get to be good i can't get to make good content because I just not feel, I just really, really, I just not feeling the vibes to take up the camera to make any form of videos. And I know a lot of you guys really expect me to do better and do more. But the situation is going on in the personal life is not conducive right now. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, guys. So I just need help and understanding. Please send some money. Okay. Help your girl out. So we can get the pickup truck out of the garage. Also, you know what else killed my vibes? You remember the Ford Explorer, the 2005 Ford Explorer. 
We pay the mechanic to fix the van, to fix the SUV. It has four wheel drive, everything. One year now, I haven't driven it. It has a one year back license now, which is really expensive. It's like $500 for the back license. And then the insurance is another $600 because my insurance is young. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I need your assistance. Um, I need your assistance, like big time. Then also I have a problem with logistics. Also, my friend Florida, she normally send the things by sea. These people, I know them very well but they're just giving me challenges like they just make you know that you know when some people just want to make your life more difficult because the company policy and i'm like do not ship do not ship so they want to discard the items because i don't want them to ship because i purchased four cages right no actually a subscriber purchased four cages for me and i need to get them into the country in order to get them in the country I need to spend sixteen hundred dollars to get them in the country so I might as well just save up some money book a flight it will take me some time the lady is like pressuring me to ship them that way so she can move them from out to the storeroom I don't want to ship like that because it don't make no sense at least I can travel make content and also go and collect the cages move them to the sea freight because sea freight and air freight is two different things in jamaica guys they make everything so complicated it's not even funny it's not like when you order a package you know like when you order a package to your home in america or whatever if you're watching from america mostly american subscribers you ship your things it comes to your door you go to the local post office and pick up in jamaica we have to go to a customs agency area and collect everything so now i have a broker that is working for me that collects everything and bring them to saint mary so the convenience of picking them up that is what she's charging for the convenience because it would be like going to a local post office then instead of going to the wharf and waiting one whole day and then the drive four hours drive so i understand it's a service she's providing but i'm also on a budget trying to do this thing so we can actually be able to feed the dogs next month because if i spend sixteen hundred dollars to feed to, 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 to clear these shipments how am i going to feed the dogs these are the challenges that i face on a daily basis okay so basically that's all the thing but... Woo! yeah guys the sun is hot i feel miserable i just got my hair done and i still have to cut grass on my goats because if i don't they're gonna die okay yeah mind you all of this is happening in the month of july which i should be enjoying myself which is my birthday month boo hoo hoo yes i know but it's my birthday month and I want to just enjoy myself at least once a year. I just take the time out, get my nails done, get my hair done. Live a life, act civil, you know, like just like a normal girl, like be a normal girl for a month. That's what I'm trying to do. But for some reason, no, I'm getting challenges, I'm getting fight every day, every day. And that's just called, it's called life. It's called life. It's just life. But guys, I need your help. I need your help. I need your help. I need your help. I need your help right now. Oh, this was a piece of so cutting the people in land. Okay. You here, guys? So the road was originally right here. Too much corner, car. You have one corner, there's one, there's a good one, one, there's a good one. Oh, so this is the road that I'm standing on. Right on the edge, guys. There's a river stream down there now. You hear it? Oh, wow! Look at those beautiful flowers there. Country life is the best.
các bạn cut some more gonna Amalia put it all the way up in here yes guys it's a good look grass is gold I told you guys but y'all didn't believe me <laughs> Guys, I'm back on the farm now. Yeah. Hello. Here goes them eating on the grass. <laughs> Max is friend. <laughs> we Max eating on some of the grass, guys. So this is what we cut the grass for, and this is why we need a pickup truck to actually be able to cut grass for the goaty goaty. Yes, guys. And then this is how I get electricity because a lot of people say, so how are you getting electricity? This is how I get electricity. Yeah. Connect everything on a battery. And yeah. So I need to set up some solar panels. Yes, guys, to actually get some electricity on the farm. Thank <laughs> you. 
Siempre aguanto en esto. Nippy, Jewel. I wash off the doggy doggy off of me, you know? Aquí está.
Doing good, man. Come, wanna go in? Go on in. <laughs> go inside. Go, Napoleon. Go on in. Go in. some treats in my goats. Let the goats, the dad still don't want to come out to the river.